on this week of Turning Point Tactics, I'm reviewing the Crossfire Games Kill Team 2024 Essentials Box. Um, and this, I think, is an amazing product for anyone that is just started Kill Team, wants to basically uh, find a way to organise all their stuff, keep track of their games and have all the tools that they need to be able to play the game in one handy, easy to use, portable box uh, made by Crossfire Games. So uh, I'm going to be reviewing this, hang around and I'll tell you exactly what I think and I'll tell you how to get it a little bit cheaper with a bit of a discount uh, from Turning Point Tactics. Hello and welcome to Turning Point Tactics, the competitive Kill Team 40k podcast and YouTube channel focused on giving you the strategies and tactics to seize initiative every turning point. I'm your host Ryan and I'm here to give you the tips and tricks to elevate every part of your Kill Team experience. If you enjoy this content and you want more, you can join our Patreon for as little as £3 a month. You'll get access to our Discord, Patreon priority questions, early access to videos including Kill Team Bat Reps, Faction Guides and much much more. If that's not for you, you can support just by hitting like, subscribe and sharing these videos amongst the community of Kill Team enthusiasts locally. To you. With all that said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about this box is it is a 3D printed box uh, made from high quality 3D printed materials. It feels very durable, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that. Um, one thing I will say is that the bottom isn't magnetized, but you could easily put um, blue tack on the bottom to be able to fit it into the bo bottom of a, uh, a storage box. I usually use the um, it looks like this. I usually use something that looks like this. Uh, this is just blue tacks down, but you could do a similar thing with magnets. So this is replacing what I currently have here. So uh, that's how it would potentially fit into that. And you have an area to travel your models and you have an area to be able to look after all of your equipment um, as well as everything else, right? So the first thing I really like about this box is it's been updated for the new scoring system, all right? So um, as you can see, there's slots here at the top for you to be able to place the crit op that's in effect, for you to be able to place both of your tack ops for uh, Commander 1 and Commander 2. Um, you have the ability to track your CP, the turning point itself. If you have faction specific rules, let's say you're um, uh, running with novitiates, you want to be able to track how many faith points you have, or you have a little dot uh, to be able to put that there. Um, you have bit, uh, areas to score all of your points for the crit ops, tack ops, primary op, kill op, the whole lot, and track your kills as well. So this is a really well designed box from a competitive point of view, because it's immediately going to let you be able to track everything that you need to and accurately uh, score the game. Now. Crossfire Games also has an app that lets you do all this sort of stuff as well. Um, I'm personally a fan of having it all in physical right in front of you because that's the best way I think for to see what is going on, track CP and that sort of stuff. Whereas if it's an app on someone else's phone that's over there, um, it can be kind of, it'd be a bit awkward to be like, oh, can I just borrow your phone and see how much CP you have? It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really work very well, in my opinion. But I know there's many people that absolutely love the app. So this is now going to give you two different options to be able to do that. You can either have a physical score tray or you can use the app. And so that's really good for uh, for, for a bit of options there. So um, yeah, first things first, it's a high quality 3D print. Um, I think the, the infograph on top, like the way this is laid out, it's really clear to be able to see what's going on. Each of these slots on here, they, they fit a, a standard D6 that you'll be able to get from Games Workshop. Um, so, and you, know, you, you can basically uh, have an entire tray of these all laid out so you to be able to track exactly what you need to be able to track. So um, that's the first thing. I love the color scheme. I love the layout. Really easy and clear to use um, and very easy for you to probably uh, uh, see with your, your friend as well. Now, I'm quickly going to just show you um, what it would look like with uh, some cards in. So just to show you how easy it is, you get your crit op card. The little slot is perfectly made for a tarot, uh, tarot card size. Um, and then you can see exactly what's going on for both you and your opponent. And then as you get into the game, you can reveal your tack ops. That can just be laid uh, in here. And same over for uh, your commander one. So essentially this lets you keep the track of what everyone's track, uh, tack ops are doing and then the scoring at the same time. So really well designed. Like this is perfect for a competitive point of view where you want to know exactly who's scoring what, when, and that sort of stuff and what the mission is if you want to have easy access to it. Um, so that is a, uh, a really f like fundamentally well designed product, I think. Uh, for competitive kill team. So um, let's look inside the box then, shall we? So as we open it up, you'll see uh, it is all quite nice and neatly laid out. So um, we've got some, some markers here. So the other thing that the Crossfire Games do is they, they create uh, these uh, objective markers. So the size in the middle is the 40 mil objective hole that you need to be able to, um, to, to place the token within it. And this is the one inch marker. So that's, that works for all of the missions, all the primary missions in the game. And you get three of them. So essentially, um, for anyone who hasn't played uh, sort of the last thing the kill team with objective markers, 
these are one of the best things that you can have for competitive kilting because it just re like removes so much mental stress when you're trying to figure out where things are and removes any sort of arguments at all, right? So these would be your objective markers. You can just place them in here um, and then boom, suddenly everyone can see, right, that's exactly where the edge of the objective is and it's all good to go from there. The other thing that they've done is uh, give you five of these equipment uh, markers as well. So a lot of the equipment uh, now uses a 20 mil gap. So this in here is a 20 mil gap and this is a one inch uh, radius out from that 20 mil gap. So again, these are really nice and thin so they don't um, interrupt your terrain or anything like that. You know, they're not gonna um, lift your models up. You can place models on it without in impacting. And it means that if you had like a, I don't know, some sort of kill marker that you wanted to try and place, um, 20 mil marker, you just place it in there, boom, done. Uh, works the same for smoke grenades, all that sort of good stuff. So it's a really good way of just being able to um, uh, track what's going on and clearly these are able to be stored as I said in the uh, the box in the lid here and they they all tuck in quite nicely and so you have them available for every single game um, the main compartment so you've got you've got quite quite a lot in this box not gonna lie it's um it's it's fantastic how much this box actually contains and how it contains everything that you need to play to play the game so let's start with the the main compartment because it makes the most amount of sense right so as you can see tarot cards uh, fit absolutely fine in here um you can also have place for a, a laser pen all that sort of stuff uh, so your standard approved ops pack will fit inside this bit here um allowing you to take your cards with you but there is another solution that they have to this if you don't want to do this but this is probably how I'm going to try and store most of my stuff because I like being able to have all the cars ready to go. Um, so it fits that. Uh, it can take a, a laser line, as I said. So if you guys haven't played Kilting before, laser line is absolutely essential. Uh, this is the Army Painter Target Lock. Um, you can get these on most most web stores. So check out Element Games and that sort of stuff. And if you are buying one, please use uh, consider using the link I've got below for an affiliate scheme. It means that it doesn't cost you any, any additional money, but it does mean that I get a little kickback and you support the channel. So, uh, yep, you need a laser line. Uh, and that will fit in there as well. So uh, in the bottom of this, you'll see, you can see that we have a, um, a token caddy that's been made by Crossfire Games as well. So this is a separate product, but you can buy it with it or you can buy it without. Um, and I think this is, this is really smart. So what, what you're gonna notice is whenever you get in, into Kill Team, Kill Team is a game with a load of tokens, right? So you need a way to try and organize those tokens or you can just be you know, a chaotic mess and just have a, a bag, but um, not everyone wants to be um, Dave Skinner or, or, or someone like that with, with that kind of lifestyle. So uh, assuming that you're not that sort of person and you wanna be, be nice and organized, then Crossfire Games has one of these. Again, 3D printed, same, same high quality material, um, really well, uh, well put together and well, well designed. So uh, essentially it's just held on by magnets. So uh, there's a magnet in the top here. Uh, does it and I believe this is the same sort of um, idea as you, you can use this as a tarot card holder and dice for scoring or whatever you want to do uh, should you want to but clearly you won't need to do that if you have the crit op um, uh, being held over there and then essentially it's just a it's just a holder for all your tokens so if you want your engage tokens your conceal tokens you've got your um, order tokens and the um, initiative token all that sort of stuff they all fit nicely within this um, and it's just a very good and easy way of ensuring that you keep everything that you brought to the table with you. The other reason why I like these is because when you go to tournaments a lot, and you'll, you'll get used to this after your first few tournaments, um, it becomes very easy to forget how many tokens you put on the table and how many tokens you've left away with, right? So in this scenario, I know that my, my caddy is flush all along, right? So all of these are flush to the roof, and therefore, when I leave a table, if my caddy is flush and I've, and I've filled all of the holes, therefore I will have all my tokens with me, right? Otherwise it's so easy to walk away from the table and leave a whole bunch of tokens on there. Um, we all know people who have done uh, that quite a lot. So um, really a little clever design, a uh, little organizer that's gonna keep all of your tokens uh, in one little place, easy to access, and it's gonna speed up the, the, the pace of your game so you're not digging through a bag trying to find the right token to be able to look the right thing. Um, and importantly, uh, quite cleverly, designed to be exactly the same size as the tarot deck so you can essentially put it inside this storage and not have any issues there. So really clever. However, let's say that you don't want to use that and you have your own um, your own preference. Well, actually, the, the box in here, you can use it for a variety of things. So you could use it as a dice tray. Um, personally, I think it'll be too rattly and too small for a dice tray, but you could use it as that. But they also provide these little dividers. Um, so let's say you wanted to have this used for storing dice or storing measurements or storing whatever. You can put these, you can slot these dividers in um, they're really just little grooves that are on either side. You can see in here there's a groove at the top, essentially, that you can just fit these into, uh, and you can divide this compartment up into, into various sizes. Um, this is like 
just a helpful addition that you know, uh, Crossfire didn't have to do this, um, but clearly it's just showing that there's different utility for the box, uh, and I think it's a really nice little thing to do. So um, you, that means you can have all your dice in the bottom of this if you wanted to, or you can do whatever else. So um, quite a little smart thing. These come uh, with it, I believe, and they're just little dividers that you can then uh, move in and out. So that's the main compartment. As I said, you can fit either a token caddy and approved ops. You can probably fit, if you had like the war tiles, steppers or any other sort of uh, products similar, you can fit those in there as well. Um, so you get, you get quite a lot of room in that main compartment. But there is, as you can probably see, quite a few other compartments that we haven't yet talked about. So um, these two compartments, I'm not 100% sure what they are for. Um, I think they're perfectly designed for dice. Uh, I assume that might be what they are designed for. But because essentially, uh, this is like a little... Um, raised bit here so when you put dice in um, you can put dice it fits about eight of them in in, uh, in this side and it fits uh, six in this side and it just means that you can just easily get your dice out because it's clearly got a bit of a run to it and therefore within here you can have you know 14 dice um, good to go between these two compartments and then they're all in one place ready for you to, for you to use um, noting you need quite a lot of dice to be able to fill the tray at the top so that's, the, that's one thing to be considering is like you need to have quite a lot of dice or your opponent brings dice but if you're just using your own half of it then really you're looking at sort of you know uh, eight or so dice in here which you could use in this bit and six or so dice which is probably all you ever need for um for kill team in in the left hand bit so you have sort of like your scoring dice and you have your playing dice is how i break it up but clearly you can use it however you'd want to um so that's not all that is included though. so th th that's like the, the, the basic formats but clearly we all know that there is the equipment that now comes with Kill Team. So um, inside, I'm gonna spin it around slightly so you can see, inside each of these external um, bits are essentially the equipment that you would need uh, for Kill Team. So uh, if we go into this one for a starter, this is a heavy barricade uh, made to the same uh, size and specifications are, as the other barricade. So you can see here the two, to two uh, comparisons next to each other. Um, essentially, they follow the same footprint, the same layout to make sure that they are the same. Um, and it's just, it's a really cool way of being able to say, cool, like either you can keep the Crossfire one and use this, or you can put your own one uh, and just go, yep, I wanna keep the GW one, so I'm gonna put that in there instead. Um, same with barricades, right? So we have the new style barricades with the little feet that stick out the bottom to make sure it doesn't roll over. Again, in this nice hard, 3D plastic, uh, well-constructed sort of material, and they just slot into here. So you've got those. You've got your portable shield to be able to move that up and down the board. And again, if you wanted to, you could just replace that with whatever one you've got. But also what's really cool in this little bit down here, you've got the two ladders. So they're good to go as well. Um, and they just slot in just nicely down here. And they're real easy to get out because there's this groove here. You can just slide them straight out with that, which is awesome. So um, that I think is a really nice little touch. Oh, I should say as well, over here you have your barbed wire, which everyone hates. Um, not the modeling of the barbed wire, but the actual rules of the barbed wire. Um, and this is this is exactly the same size as the barbed wire. I, know, I should have to, I guess, prove it to people to make sure that I'm not lying. Um, so th these things are overlap. Uh, and there's the exact, like, ooh, exact layout. So it's the, the, the same thing, but done in the 3D printing. So really, really cool there. Um, so that then uh, slides in here as well, but we're not done. So you also need clearly measuring tools if you're gonna be playing Kill Team. Um, Crossfire has their own measuring stick, which is this, which essentially can, can be sort of like broken into various lengths. So if you wanna do six inches, you can have six inches like this. Uh, you've got seven inches if you wanted to do that, and you can then add your charge on or whatever you need to do, right? So uh, a, whole, a whole bunch of uh, measurement options there. Um, but let's say that you just want to use official GW stuff, don't worry about it, because actually this compartment can be used to fit the GW things. So here's two GW6, the new one and the old one. Um, so if you have two of those, which most people will have, because they have been playing both editions, they now slot nicely in there, and you have a bit of space for additional stuff. So um, they can go in there. And in this little compartment here, similar sort of story, uh, you can fit in your um, three by two by one measuring sticks. Uh, we don't use colors anymore or shapes anymore. And here's the, the ones that come from the sort of uh, the starter set or from the Hive Storm set as well. So they can go into here as well. So um, they all fit really nicely in there. There's loads of space uh, to be able to get them in. I'm debating between if I wanna use the measuring stick, which I think is quite cool, or if I'd rather use uh, just these like, standard uh, sticks. But I know I'm probably gonna end up filling the bottom of this tray with steppers because I think steppers are one of the best way of being able to get around 
uh, and do stuff. So that's like just showing you all the stuff that can fit in there. So I'll, I'll just once again show you all this stuff. You can put it all, all in uh, and it will load up everything that you need to be able to uh, play, play the game in a single easy to use sort of a, a box, which is I think pretty much awesome. Um, but you're probably thinking, how can I get myself one of these? So Crossfire Games has an Etsy, it's a store online. Uh, it's, a, it's a small business, it's, it's made by one of the um, uh, Kill Team uh, players from London. Uh, he's a really good guy and he's, you know, he's, he's very passionate about the game and he want, wants to make sure that the game is, has everything you need to be able to play with it. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how much stuff this all fits. Uh, here's the eight dice going in here. Um, and he's set this business up essentially making Kill Team products to, to make your life easier uh, as a gamer, right? So he wants to make sure that you can get to the table and play your games as, as, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Um, and this, I think, is gonna help you do exactly that because you're not gonna be worrying about where your stuff is. You're not gonna be worrying about, oh, you know, do, do I bring all the right things to the table? Do I forget something or anything like that? No, nope, it's all gonna be in here. You already know it's all here. And every time you leave the table, you're good to go because it's all in one easy to use uh, box, easy to use place. So I think this is fantastic. Um, now, pricing wise, it clearly is doing pretty much everything that you can want uh, from Kill Team. So it is gonna be a little bit more on the expensive side than maybe most people are, are used to paying. But when you consider buying the equipment sets and all that sort of stuff, and you consider how much stuff you're gonna lose over the years, I think this is gonna be uh, save, save you some money in the long run. And I cannot stress enough how good this sort of uh, score tray is for being able to track your games as well. Um, so if you wanna get it a little bit cheaper, I mean, help out with the, 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 the price there, and at the same time support the channel, all you have to do when you go onto Etsy is put in the code TPT24, that's TPT24, and you're gonna save 5% on all your purchases. So um, I highly recommend that you, you go ahead and do that because if you, if you don't, if you don't if you follow the link, and don't type in the code, you're gonna be paying full price. So please do follow the code, put the, put the code in and save yourself some money, support the channel, support our local um, tournament scene and tournament organizers, and support um, Nick as well as a, a, as a local Kill Team uh, product maker. But I think it's an amazing product. I'm gonna show you a second product that he's made uh, to help out with us this as well. Okay, so this is the other product that we have. We have the Crossfire Games, uh, essentially approved ops, uh, card holders. This is your tarot cards. It's a little bit of an organizer, uh, and essentially lets you organize all of your cards uh, in a way that you want to be to be done. So, um, all it's doing essentially is taking the standard approved dots in, in the the small card pack that you have, and lets you separate them into various areas to make sure you can quickly get to the right stuff. So, uh, I, I can quickly find my uh, uh, infiltration tack ops. I can quickly find my recon or my uh, uh, security, whatever it's. They're all in here. All nice and easy to find. I know that my crit ops are up here at the front, my map packs are over, over here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So they're all loaded in and they're all nice and separated. You do get quite a lot of additional space in this. So I think what I can see happening uh, for a lot of people, bear in mind all the cards that are coming out are tarot card sized, right? Is what we'll start doing is this bit you'll probably end up using for your uh, approved ops and the second half you can use for your, your actual kill team cards, which are really nice. So your equipment cards and all that sort of stuff can go in the back. Um, and all of your approved ops can go in the front, and then you just have essentially one box which is carrying all of your stuff. So um, there's not too much more to say about this. When I should say this is replaceable, um, it does come with a separate one which I have misplaced, <laughs> classically, uh, somewhere on my on, on this table. Uh, but for Kill Team 2021, uh, if you're still playing Kill Team 2021, then this exists and it basically separates it out for you. But most of us aren't playing Kill Team 2021 anymore. We're playing Kill Team 2024, so there you go on there. Uh, same same sort of construction, same magnetized clothes. Uh, you know, it's a, a very high quality printed uh, material. I, I personally really like the, um, the the black that's that's been used. This sort of like uh, this sort of a dark dark black with the the Crossfire Games logo. I think looks real smart. Um, then again, I, almost all of my stuff is in black, so um, it kind of makes sense for me to like it. Um, but yeah, so it just essentially keeps all of your cards neat, stops from being damaged, and ensures that you can get from your tournament um, with all the stuff that you need. So between this and the uh, the other box, the sort of um, essentials box, that, as it's called, you can make sure you have everything you need ready to go for a tournament 
you can put this out on the table and you're good to go, right? So um, I think that's a really neat idea. And if you're looking to organize your kill team life and make sure that you have everything you need at the right time and save time when playing the game, which I think is really important, then make sure you look at these sorts of things. Because what you don't want to be doing is getting to a table and trying to find that tack up when you just can't find it because you've, you've got you know, uh, cards everywhere, whatever. Whereas you can go, cool, I'm looking for tack ops. I know that they're gonna be in here. And I can go, cool, I now want to get my confirmed kill out and then go back in. So um, these are all easy for them to put in and out. It's, as I said, it seals up nice uh, and it looks really smart. So think about giving this a go. You can find it on Etsy. And again, make sure to use the code TPT24 so you save some money because otherwise you're gonna be spending a lot more money on stuff that you don't necessarily need to and you won't be supporting the channel. So make sure you support the channel, look at this product, and organize your kill team life. That brings us to the end of the episode. Hopefully you found something new or useful while listening, and if you did, throwing us a like would be greatly appreciated. If you want to make sure you don't miss any episodes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as the next one drops. It really is the best way to help a small channel like ours. And if you can't wait and you do want early access, we have a Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all our content ahead of time. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. Just drop a comment below and we'll get right to you. Thank you so much for listening. I'm your host, Ryan. This has been Turning Point Tactics and we'll see you next week.